once upon a time, on the majestic Mount Olympus. A grand celebration was in full swing. The gods and goddesses reveled in the glory of King Peleus and the beautiful sea nymph Thetis wedding. Laughter echoed through the heavens, and the air was filled with divine music. However, amidst the joyous festivities, a sense of tension lingered. Eris, the mischievous goddess of discord, seethed with anger. Denied an invitation, she vowed to disrupt the merriment, and sow the seeds of chaos. Her eyes gleamed with mischief as she devised a plan to bring about the legendary judgment of Paris. Aris cunningly crafted a golden apple, radiant and enchanting. Inscribed upon it were the words, For the fairest. A declaration that would ignite a fierce competition among the goddesses. With a devilish grin, she flung the apple into the heart of the celebration. The atmosphere changed instantly. The music faltered, and the gods and goddesses stared in astonishment. At the glittering object rolling before them. Hera, the queen of the gods. Athena, the goddess of wisdom and warfare and Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. Immediately recognized the significance of the golden apple. Hera's eyes blazed with authority as she stepped forward. Confident that the apple would be hers. Choose me, she proclaimed, and I will grant you power and dominion over all mortals. You will command their unwavering loyalty. Athena, her gray eyes sparkling with intelligence, stood tall and offered her plea. Paris, if you select me, she declared, I shall bestow upon you wisdom and strategic brilliance. In battle, you shall be invincible, and your name will be etched in the annals of history. Then, with grace and allure, Aphrodite approached. Her radiant beauty illuminated the surroundings, and her voice dripped with irresistible charm. Paris, she whispered seductively, choose me and you shall possess the love of the most exquisite. Mortal woman in existence, Helen of Sparta. Together, you will share a love that will defy the boundaries of time and ignite the world. Paris, a Trojan prince known for his fair judgment found himself caught in a whirlwind of temptation. Each goddess offered a prize of immeasurable worth. How could he possibly decide? As he pondered, Paris's heart quickened, and his mind swirled with a mixture of desire and responsibility. The weight of his decision was immense. Finally, he stepped forward and pointed to the enchanting Aphrodite. Aphrodite, Paris announced, his voice. Quivering with anticipation, your promise of true love calls to my soul. I choose you as the fairest of them all. Aphrodite's smile widened, and a triumphant gleam danced in her eyes. She graciously accepted the golden apple, its radiance matching the brilliance of her victory. In that moment, 
the course of history was forever altered. The consequences of Paris's choice were swift and far-reaching. Helen of Sparta, the embodiment of beauty and desire, was spirited awa.